Hello and welcome to SIZ TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. Here's a look back at stories of events that happened this spring semester. In our top story, Team SIZ honored its volunteers for their service, time, and dedication during the 2019 Volunteer Recognition Luncheon on April 11th at the ESC Region 19 Head Start Multipurpose Center. More than 7,400 registered volunteers contributed 135,000 service plus hours for the 2018 2019 school year. Volunteers come in and help staff as well. It helps the district by helping out the teachers at each campus. Teachers have more time to focus on academics. This event, we have it yearly, and it is a very small token of our appreciation for all they do. We recognize the Volunteer of the Year from each campus. We recognize seven parent groups, and we recognize the district winners as well. With parents being involved, students do better in academics. Our volunteers do a lot for our district. I think it was beautiful. I think I think these volunteers really do need this recognition because sometimes they think that what they do is not enough. I volunteer because Socorro ISD has given me so much and now it's my turn to give it back. I was introduced to so many role models and now I want to become a role model to them. We have been working just for a year and a half and then uh, we try to raise funds to make improvements in the school. This is uh, very rewarding. And then plus our kids are in the school right there. So we wanted to be close to our kids and at the same time to help the school. These events, uh, they gonna motivate us to keep going, to keep recruiting more volunteers. This is our first time in here. And then we won a prize. So we are very, very proud of ourselves. And we love the event. Team SIZ celebrated the 2019 Teachers of the Year Gala at the El Paso Convention Center. The 47 Campus Teachers of the Year were honored and the top elementary and secondary teachers were named. It was an, it's very exciting just knowing that I work for the best dis district in the nation where there are 2,900 teachers and to be able to represent those 2,900 teachers, it's just an amazing feeling and I just feel so proud. I couldn't believe it. It, it, it was surreal. I, I just, you know, I was expecting somebody else's name and then when they called me, I, I, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't think it was real. I, I kind of like stood in my seat, kind of like waiting like, is this really happening? It, it was an incredible moment. It was an incredible moment. Hard to believe. It's an honor. I work with such amazing individuals, teachers, principals, faculty, all of the staff, and to be able to represent such an amazing district, it's surreal. Now I'm taking not only my campus, but I'm taking every campus, every teacher, every scholar, everybody, you know, um, representing as a district. We got to show that Socorro ISD is the best district out there. Team SIZ held the 2019 SIZ Partners in Education recognition, which honored the outstanding partnerships in the district and at the campuses with local business owners, nonprofit organizations, and other agencies in the El Paso Socorro area. The saying that it really does take a village to raise a child is true, and allowing those partners to come in, not only for different things that we do, like the science fair judging or talent show or stuff like that, we get to showcase what our kids do, and our kids get that exposure, they get that experience of speaking with people that they don't know, and so they, they gain those skills. And so bringing in those business partners allows me to show off what our kids are doing, our campus is doing, our teachers, but it also allows the business to see what an amazing job that our kiddos are doing, and they want to be involved. SISD is amazing with their partner in education program. They're so involved, uh, every single school, every partner. It's just so big in SISD and to be able to win the Business Partner of the Year is an extreme honor because they truly value their partnerships. It was a definite surprise. I had no idea that this was going to happen. So I was super overwhelmed and I was just very excited and honored. All of us do this job because we love it and because we're passionate about what we do, not because we're trying to win an award. And so to see it up there, I just started crying. It's very important to me to be able to help schools and students because I want to see these children succeed and grow just as much as SISD does.
12 Socorro ISD educators were recognized on May 9th for completing the Educational Administration Program to obtain their master's degree. The SIZ and the University of Texas at El Paso program was established in 2017, and to date, 27 district employees have earned their master's degree, and 14 more are on track to graduate in May 2020. That's something that we have always aspired as a school district. It's part of the endless opportunities. Uh, we want to grow our own. We want our own people that have gone through our system to become administrators for our kiddos because they know what our values are. They, they know that we want to educate our, our students as if they were our very own. I went as a teacher mentality and at the end ended up coming out with the leadership uh, mentality. It was really interesting, a lot of hard work, it was ups and downs, so it was really interesting just to go through the whole roller coaster. I just want to thank SISD for everything you have done for me. I think it's been a great opportunity. I love the professors that they chose for this program, the people that they built, and I think now I'm ready to be a strong leader. You know where your people are coming from. You hired them to be in your district to begin with and now you'd like to take those people that you have faith in, that you have been grooming as someone to now become a leader and help grow more people into this. Rather than reaching out and trying to find somebody that you're not sure where they came from, what their background is. It's been great, it's been eye-opening. It's been, I've never read so much, wrote so much, and I've never gained so much confidence in my ability to be a leader among grown-ups. So I'm excited to take the challenge. Socorro ISD's newest school, Cactus Trails Elementary School, had its first ever open house meeting on May 20th at Pibble Hills High School. Parents and students met the school principal, faculty and staff, and took a virtual tour of the new school. It's very state of the art. It's like the technology that they're gonna have there, the way the campus is built. I'm happy to see that elementary students are gonna have that type of campus because some of the things that they have, they leave it to the high school. And like the outdoor theater, that's the first one that Socorro's gonna have and I'm, I'm ready to use it. I'm excited for what's to come. I know it's gonna be an amazing campus. I worked with some of the teachers that are also transferring over and I know they're just amazing people. I'm actually happy to be here because I know there's different options I'm looking forward for her participating in sports, um, but also in reading and math activities. So I'm very excited about what new programs the new school will have to offer. Team SIZ honored educators who teach in the district's innovative WIN Academy in a special gala. The teachers were recognized for their hard work and accomplishments in the classroom. This is to celebrate and to honor all of our WIN teachers that do so much uh, for our neediest kids. They work so hard, they put a lot of time and uh, energy and even money into making sure that our... Uh, so this is our way of giving back, Dr. Espinosa. We're very grateful for the WIN Academy because when we leave one child behind, it's one too many. So this is another opportunity to be able to make sure that they are successful. The reason why I decided to become a WIN teacher was because I had a lot of uh, teachers you know, in my early childhood who made a big impact on me. I felt like I could connect with the WIN students and working with the WIN students has allowed me to help them with these strategies and, and help them by working hard, having an I can do attitude. We made our goal and you can see the difference how in the beginning, how the kids started up to now, their, their growth. Their growth on, in different, you know, in different areas, emotionally, academically. You can see a difference in them, a different, you know, it's, uh, they believe in themselves, you know, they feel ready for the next grade. It's a recognition for our students. It's an honor. It is an honor, and not only that, but it's an honor to be part of Team SISD. It's a, an endless opportunity for our students. Team SISD embarked once again on the highly successful Stand and Deliver Walk to visit with SISD families and talk to them about the district's programs, resources, and opportunities available for their children in all the district schools. The idea is that we just want to keep our public informed. We want to keep our community informed as to the opportunities that our students have in comparison to other districts, other schools. And we want to make sure that our students are aware that here, the opportunities to be college ready are endless. It shows their passion for their work. I mean, the fact that her coach came to see her on a Saturday, that just shows how important the school, the district, 
the students themselves, how much they mean to him and to the teachers who are going around. I grew up in Socorro District, but my children grew up in El Paso District. So it's nice to bring them back and to see all the programs and activities and you know the future that SISD has for my kids. There's no words to explain. I mean, it's been more than awesome, especially for my daughter Monique, the seventh grader. She's accomplished a lot this year, above and beyond. She was accepted for Honor Society. She did get first place on Literally Anthology this year for district. She's an orchestra. She got second place district for Science Fair. She did the HEB tour. She was one of the students selected for Sanchez Middle to give the tour. And I heard that we got $100,000. Yeah, big. So I mean, she's doing well in Sanchez. I mean, like I said, I will not move my kids from Socorro District at all. Socorro IZ Superintendent Dr. Jose Espinosa presented his 2019 State of the District Address to provide Team SIZ an update on the district's progress, achievements, and reasons why Team SIZ is the right choice for endless opportunities. We had over 500 people here in attendance, and I think these uh, State of the District Address is very important to update our community, to update some parents that were here, our administrators, teachers, our stakeholders on some of the happenings, some of the initiatives, some of the many successes that we've had. There's so many highlights in SISD. I always look forward to update them and just working as a team. It's truly a united team here in SISD. We have over 6,000 employees, so we look forward already to next year and continue to move ahead. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Jose Espinosa, with the Twitter handle at jespinosa underscore SISD. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook and visit our website. Thank you again and see you next time.